Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you one of my favorite techniques for creating bass lines. It is super fast, fluid, creative. There's no sacrifice in quality whatsoever. And what I love about this is you can use it for any genre of electronic music. So I'm going to be making a kind of tech house vibe bass line. I've done a techno example for you as well. But if you make dubstep, breaks, classic house, disco house, melodic techno, you name it you'll be able to use this technique. And actually you can use it for more than just bass as we're gonna see. So let me start off just by playing this basic loop I've created as a backdrop. So you can hear it comprises a kick drum, an open hat and an atmosphere. Now I love to do this before I get started writing anything, whether I was gonna start with a chord progression, a melody stabs, a bass line, I like to have something that sets a kind of tone for me, a bit, of, a little bit of a vibe, a little bit of an atmosphere. So it's not complex in rhythm and it doesn't have any harmonies or anything added into it too much pitch because that would be constrictive on what I'm going to make. So I keep it basic, but it's just got a little bit of a tone and a vibe about it. So the technique that we are going to use, we're going to start bringing in a number of different bass loops. I normally go for two or three, and then we're going to edit and comp them together to create our own bass. So command option B opens the browser. Good key command to know. And I've got this pack, Victor Calderon and Mike Fraid. I think I've pronounced that correctly. And this is a tech house pack. I'm making a tech house bass line. But actually, I'd encourage you to explore and experiment. I've had amazing results, for example, using some drum and bass loops with techno loops in a techno track. So different sounds, different loops can inspire you and they help you discover and find your own sound and stand out. So you can see there's not very many bass lines in this one. Let's have a listen. Now, what you can hear is that there's some different timbres and styles here. Long notes, short kind of more staccato notes. This one's a glitchy bass, some are more subby. It's good to have a variety and mix and match when you're dragging the loops in. So let's go with this glitch one. We'll drag that in and then let's find something that's got a little bit of contrast to that. So I like these two, this size Welb, I think it's called, and slider. We'll go with this one. It's a little bit more sparse. I think it'll be easier to edit, but it's got this nice kind of glided note in it that's very different to this glitchy kind of top endy bass that we've got here above it. So I'll shut the browser and let's just work on one bar to start with. Now, a nice tip is to highlight the area you want to work on. Hit Z and it is going to expand to fill the screen horizontally. Do it again and you're going to get it expanding vertically. So we can see really clearly what we're working on. We've got our kick and our two bass lines. And here's the catch. Here's the killer bit. We're going to do it blind. We're going to make the bass line and we ain't going to listen to it until we're done. So it's as simple as this. We just start chopping bits out. So I am going to keep this, whoops, this section in here. And this fade is actually really handy. We can bring it in and get almost a side chain type vibe here. So if you imagine if we were using a side chain compressor, the bass would be ducking when the kick drum plays. We kind of got that vibe going on, right? The bass is going to pump back up. It's not going to interfere with the kick drum. And let's go to the end here and completely cut this bit out and we'll just do a little bit of a fade number one to get rid of any clicks and number two that little bit of space just helps that moment of silence before the punch of the kick comes in again so let's go with that and you know what i'm going to repeat it again here like so now one thing you might think when you look at this is hey why didn't you just grab this bit and copy it and move it across. Well, number one, I think the bass sounds, yeah, in fact, look at them, they're ever so slightly different. And number two, the fades that I put in, although they're gonna be similar, they'll be slightly different. So it'll just add something that's not quite as robotic to proceedings, right? And these are rob quite robotic bass lines in Tech House, but just having that bit of movement can make a real, real difference. 
So I said I liked this glidey bit, so it makes sense to keep that. Again, we'll cut that base out so we don't have a clash. And let's move this across and fade it in as though we got our sidechain compressor at the ready. Then this one looks louder at the front, so let's get rid of that and move this. And we we'll just put this on the offbeat, keep this nice and simple. So I don't know how this is going to sound. I'm not sure how these bass sounds are going to work together, but my ear suggested to me, yeah, they'll probably be OK. We've moved, chopped, cut, sliced. It's very much our own bass sound, our own bass loop, sorry. Let's see how it sounds. I would take that all day long for a Tech House track. Sure, we'd bust it, maybe put a little bit of compression on there to make sure the levels are a little bit tighter, but rhythmically that's working really well. So just for fun, let's do another one because sometimes it doesn't work. Um, most of the time it does. And again, we're going to go in blind and this time let's do something different. So let's put this thing here on the offbeat. And what I've noticed, if we just zoom in on that, look at this. It's not actually in line with the grid. So it's kind of got its own little swing vibe going on. Perfect. Let's see how we get on with it. Let's do it. And let's try and use, um, you know what? In fact, let's just get rid of all of it, except this thing. This is a little short punchy thing. So the other one didn't have that much syncopation in it. Let's kind of put some syncopated hits in here. Let's kind of grab that, put that there. Whoops, meant to copy that. Let's move it back. I think we had it over here. Wrong key command should be holding option. There we go. And again, I want to keep this. In fact, let's keep that one looks kind of loud. In fact, we might grab the bit from the other bass line. Maybe this was a two bar. I want to keep this glidey bit because this is cool. But let's move it. Let's just have it kind of gliding up over here. And then let's see. I want this thing. This has got some real oomph to it. And let's pop it at the end there. And then I'll get rid of this. So now we've got a more kind of syncopated feel. Again, does it work? Answer for me, absolutely all day long. And what we can do is create a bit of variation. So if we just duplicate that out rather than a one bar bass line, we can have a two bar bass line. And I'm hearing maybe another syncopated hit in here could work. Let's have a listen. And again, we've, we're off to the races. We've got something to work with here straight away. And I'd probably duplicate that out again and make another change to bar, bar four. And then we've just got something that's grooving over four bars with those extra little touches. It stays interesting a bit more. And I'd probably affect these a bit as well, maybe filter or do something with them to make sure they're not all exactly the same. But that's it. The baseline rhythm is in place. It's that quick. Now, that was our tech house effort. I already knocked up a more techno-y kind of vibe here. And this is exactly the same deal. And again, this was the, the first thing that I came up with. I was happy with it. I was like, yeah, I could run with this. It's got a few extra touches that I'll talk about. And I've kept the exact same atmosphere hats and kick for you. So you can see I'm not doing anything kind of fancy with this. And of course, you know, if I was to go and pick specifically uh, sounds that are a bit more dirty or lo-fi or something like that, I'd get a different vibe. And that's what I mean by creating that context at the start, right? But let's have a listen to this one. So it's got that almost hypnotic vibe and you can see this one's kind of super simple. I've literally just sliced these pretty much on the offbeat and this one has almost got a reversed feel to it. I didn't reverse it, but that would be a great another great thing that you can experiment with. What I did do on this is if you just notice the kick at the end here. I went ahead and I grabbed this is actually the beginning of the kick. If I take the fade off, you can see it's the kick drum just turned down a little bit. And I just grabbed a couple of those and put them in these little syncopated places. And 
the I used X, by the way, uh, Z, sorry, to zoom in again. X will zoom you back out. So it's a super quick way to get in and out of different areas that you want to edit in your project. And that gave us this little kind of roll at the end. And then I used three different bases. So this is the third base. And I've put a delay on it. So let me just get rid of that for a second. And this is just send into a basic delay. But I didn't quite like how this was fitting when I edited a couple of bits in. So instead what I did was I thought, well, I'll just use little kind of tiny slices of it and put a delay on it. And it almost acts as a kind of stab. Now, you might look at this one and say, hang on a minute, that is not the same sample. It absolutely is. So another fun thing that you can play with here is the warping. So in this instance, if I take this warp marker out, you'll see now we've got our base hit back. All I did was say, OK, I'll stick a warp marker in and I'll drag this thing out and we'll get something a bit different. So I'll just put this back to exactly where it was. And in this case, I randomly selected. I was like, I'll have this tones mode and play with the grain size. And it just gives you different vibes every single time. And so once again, here's the techno version. And that's it. So bags are fun. It's super easy. Try doing it blind so that you're not getting into perfectionism, overthinking. You're just working quickly and you go, oh, it sounds like this. I like this one or I don't. Move on to the next, make a bunch of them. Literally, you can do God, three or four bass lines in 10 minutes. Pick your favorite and you're off to the races. So I hope you enjoyed that. Happy music making. Until next time.